Hi, Charlie here. Today we're going to talk crying magpie sound. First thing we're going to talk about is air presentation. And it's the same air we're going to use for all calls. It's the last air in your lungs. And to get the right sound, uh, we're going to add some rolling R's into it. Uh, you can move your tongue to do it. But I like to, to do it by uh, make the rolling sound in the back of my mouth. To get a little higher pitch, you put it in your teeth. Uh, it's the same vibration as the, the crow call. And combining all of these steps together, uh, you can really play around with pitches, uh, voice inflection, hands, uh, to get a variety of distress sounds out of it. Uh, it works great for foxes too. And the only thing you should have in mind is be careful using it because uh, it will attract birds and they will come in as a group to check the sound out. So uh, don't use it too much. Um, I like to have it uh, for uh, when nothing else works or uh, I do crow hunting with uh, an owl or a fox and I mix in this distress sound to, to make, make it realistic. Uh, but uh, you can get a lot of sound out of it by uh, just playing around. Thank you for watching and in the right corner you got a link to the, uh, my other videos and hit the like button once or twice and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Man är ju född till det här.